And WSBT's Annie Chang joins us from the live desk now. Annie, you got a first-hand look at Notre Dame's aerospace engineering department. And they give us a better idea of what exactly will be going on in that new lab. That's right, Rick. We heard Kelly mention this facility is all about turbo machinery. Big word. It's going to be used as a testing site for engine parts. And scientists will use it to keep testing and improving those parts so they can make the most fuel-efficient and safest engines. Notre Dame aerospace scientists show us what they've been doing in their labs for the past decade. Take a look. Turbo machinery. What is it exactly? Any kind of machine that spins is a turbo machine. So it's all about studying and changing different parts of a gas turbine engine to make sure it's as safe and efficient as technologically possible. So the work we do is to reduce sound, is to reduce air pollution, is to reduce fuel consumption. Uh, by developing new technologies for the engines. Aerospace engineering professors Scott Morris and Joshua Cameron say Notre Dame has been cranking out cutting-edge turbo machinery research, especially within the past 10 years. So this, when we say turbo machinery component, this is the type of thing that we're talking about. You might change the angle of the blade, the, the height of the blade, the thickness of the blade. But this project takes all that research to a new level. They say no other university in the U.S. comes close. It's going to be globally recognized as um, a turbo machinery center that, that is the place to study um, in, in the nation. But perhaps more importantly, the professors say this new lab will bring some of the brightest young minds to South Bend and give them more reasons to stay. It'll certainly be uh, a real help in attracting the best graduate students in the country, uh, pr providing us the opportunity to graduate the best PhDs in the industry who will then go out to work in both academia and industry. And they say this lab won't just add those 60 research jobs and 60 support jobs. They predict several companies, like suppliers, will actually move here to South Bend to help support this lab. The university says that's why the new building will go up in Ignition Park, to make room for those new companies. At the live desk, I'm Annie Chang, WSBT Channel 22 News.